<laughs> Hi guys! Hey. We're joined by Alex and Olivia. You just landed. Oh. <laughs> what a crazy six weeks, huh? Mental, mental, absolutely mental. I don't even, I don't even feel like I know my own name. I feel like everyone else knows me more now. I don't even know myself. It's been ridiculous. It's been absolutely amazing. mental, crazy, yeah. but it's the best experience ever, wasn't it? Honestly. Love it. So, who's the first person you've, you've called since you've landed? Have you managed to get in touch with like your mates and some family? What was the kind of who's that first person you reached well, for? As soon as I got given my phone, because I'm a little mommy's boy, I rang my mum straight away, <laughs> and then I rang all my family and all my friends and stuff as well. So, my family and friends come and met me at the airport, so I got to see my dad, my little baby sister. Um, and a couple of my friends, so that was such a nice surprise. So I didn't actually have to call anyone. I got a big old hug when I got there. I think you, you got your phones back, and presumably it must be like crazy, like Instagram oh, and Twitter and it's okay. The, it has been going mental, so thank you for all your support. It's been literally yeah, unreal, and our phones are going off. You've broken them a couple of times, but I'll let you off. I actually <laughs> forgot my password to get into my phone because it's been that long. <laughs> and then all of a sudden it clicked and come back to me. <laughs> um, so what are you going to do tonight? I mean, you just you know you've got your first night back. Is it like? Chill out, is it? Go out, is it? We're going to go shopping, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to do a bit of shopping in London and then we are going to go for dinner, aren't we? Yeah, nice little meal. I feel like our tummy is because I want to start. Anything we want. I'm anything. excited for English food. That's, yeah. that's steak. But, oh, yeah, I'm really excited. Oof. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, yeah, I mean, what was the food like? Were you kind of, you know, it was kind of, it looked really nice there. It looked, were you kind of... You well, know. obviously you have to cook your own breakfast of the morning. So I learned to, to boil an egg. So my mum was really proud of me. Um, and then you, obviously you get dinner and like, tea as well, didn't you? It's really nice. Lunch and dinner. Lunch and dinner. I said, well, I said tea, well, oh, no problem. Is that all right? Are you know what? No. Oh. Close. Almost. Yeah, almost. Yeah, no, the food was really lovely, but it's like, it was spanish -y food. It's not that like English, like, no, we just want fish and chips. Or something. Yeah, like, I'll pie and mash. It was always cold as well. So you have, like, this little room where you got the larder and it's the locky, put food in there, unlock it, then you've got your food. So you're, like, in a little cage, aren't you? It's like yeah. a posh cage. It's so exciting. We felt like little tigers, like, ready when the meat comes in. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so you've got the wrap party tomorrow night, uh, which islanders are you looking to kind of hang out with the most and to reconnect with the most? My boy Terry, my boy Terry, I've missed him, uh, obviously he only went uh, a few days before the final, uh, but I just wanted him to be there in the final with me, I can't wait to meet up with him. I don't even know, I'm excited to see all of him, I'm excited to see Marlin, I need to speak to her, obviously like, there's a lot gone on whilst I've been away and not been able to talk to her, but everyone, I'm excited to see Terry, Emma, Tina, literally everyone. Um, what, what are you going to miss most about the villa? Because you talked about the food and stuff, but it was, you know, it was just so, it looked so nice. <laughs> you know, it was just hanging out there and it was, uh, it was a beautiful place. Do you know what I'm going to miss about the villa? The bedroom antics. And I don't mean between me and <laughs> Olivia, because that's going to happen anyway. I mean, the fun that we had oh, in the yeah. bedroom of the night. Yeah. Honestly, with Nathan throwing pillars off people's yeah. heads, like we're pulling pranks balls. on people. Yeah, spit balls with like a straw, everything. Honestly, it was unreal. We're basically children when we get into that bedroom. Like, we just, we're yeah. out, man. Pillows running, but with so many pranks were pulled. We got told off so many times because yeah. the cameras throwing pillars and there's it in the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the worst snorer? Was it tell? Terry and Leanna was really bad. Yeah, Leanna was right was next bad. to me, and I I sleep quite soundly, but a couple of times she did go and it like fully yeah. woke me up. Although you swore and shouted in your sleep once. She sounded like a dinosaur, didn't she, Leanna? Can we just appreciate the fact that you swore at me in your sleep? You woke up. Yeah, but I was asleep, so I can't remember this, so it didn't happen. <laughs> definitely, definitely scared of the crap out of me. Um, what's your favourite moment from the villa? What's the moment you're gonna like, you know? Answer correct? this question carefully, Olivia. Oh my god, picking a favourite moment is literally so ridiculous, but I had the best time on Nathan's birthday when yeah. we all dressed up as kids and rolled around the ball pit. Yeah, it I was, was like, unreal. Yeah, it was so much fun. Uh, we've got Lee on Facebook asked, what's your favourite couple challenge that you did? It's got to be the one that we won, isn't it? Yeah, hi Lee, by the way. Yeah, hi Lee. Um, oh, I don't know, I like the sock challenge because I won it, and you was my trainer. Yeah, but I didn't have to do nothing. As a couple thing, it was the, yeah, the dinghy one. Okay, the dinghy one. Because we kind of we kind of cheated, okay. but our physical, our yeah, physical, we, like, we won on that. But yeah, we, we just worked. obviously we didn't get the questions right, so we were guessing where Scott, literally looking where Scott was going, and then just went to that A, B, or C, and obviously we was quicker than Scott when we said we won. Good tactic. It looked exhausting, that. Oh my god. <laughs> 
Oh, you like your shoulder? Yeah, I was aching for days. Oh, really? days. My legs, my legs. Like, and I think you'd like, you were like throwing water in my face. I had like red eyes. And when he's going like that, he's like throwing water in my face. I'd go, oh. <laughs> oh, it's pretty. Um, so there's some of your favourite moments. Any, what's your worst moment? Any bad moments that you kind of, like, yeah. That pesky lie detector test was a bad moment for me. <laughs> It's a fact, it's an even worse moment for me. Yeah, we did not enjoy that at all, but it kind of helped in a way. Sorry, so I'm just glad that people saw that obviously a lie detector can't detect how you're feeling. Yeah, exactly. Obviously, you can just detect like your sweat glands yeah, and, exactly. and, yeah, and stuff like that. The sweaty mess. Yeah, it was a bit of a sweaty mess. But obviously, I was nervous. I was last to go up as well. So that put me on, like, I was stressed all the way through the day, like getting aggy. And then I had to be in that situation. And then when there was turning red, I was like, oh my God. But then the way we handled the situation, like, obviously I got upset and it takes a lot for me to get upset. And then I think you saw through that, didn't you? And yeah, I got a bit angry. Uh, hit a, punched a few hairspray. <laughs> a lot of different hairspray. And that was the like, girly spray. I was like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> But no, we, we got through it and it has actually made us so much better. Yeah, so it's absolutely. kind of the worst moment, but kind of a good moment at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like it's a good part of the journey, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, so apart from yourself, of course, which of the couples you think we've got, you know, are going to go and uh, last uh, the real deal? Um, I think Nathan and Cara will last. Yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent. Obviously, there's no such thing as a perfect couple, but Nathan and Cara look like soulmates, and they, they are. They're so they just similar. get each other. It's nice. Like when I watch them, I'm like, if he did that to me, I'd probably go. I'd probably flip. And the way they handle each other is amazing. They're just perfect for each other. They're like the most deserving winners ever. Yeah. Because well, you, you know you, you're the one that's up, and that moment when it was just between these there kind. Of, well, know. we said we said obviously I didn't I didn't even expect to get to the final, and then to get I thought it was going to be fourth, then we wasn't. I thought it was going to be third, then we wasn't. Mm -hmm. Then just to be up on that stage with Nathan and Cara, whoever won, all four of us just said we're just happy for each couple. So yeah. it was a nice feeling either way. They were like our best friends in there, so to yeah. be at that point with them is just amazing. it was just unreal. Awesome, and. Um, yeah, we do it again. <laughs> if you could, would you, if you could do now, do the whole thing again. I would do it again. Yeah, it I'd probably unreal. do it again. I'd probably like cut out the first like two weeks where I was lonely third wheeling, and then I'd come in and, and then you'd come it in earlier. But I'd do it again. Yeah, it was unreal. It was amazing. That's the thing. So you know, Nathan and um, and Carl had obviously like they had this you know long relationship, and then others like you had different journeys, and it was such highs and lows, yeah. emotional kind of all over the place. It must yeah. have been so crazy. It was very emotional. It was a very emotional week. A big emotional roller coaster, really. But it was definitely worth it. It's around it in the And would you have shared the money if you'd won? 100%. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> I think if anyone didn't share that money, they'd be ruined for the rest of their life. <laughs> I mean, you can I'd imagine. Know what I mean, I mean, I'd imagine. push them straight in that pool if they did that to me. Who do you think would be most likely not to share the money? Oh my god, probably Adam Jay. Adam Jay. <laughs> Yeah. Adam Jay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, luckily we didn't get to see that, or maybe unluckily. Um, so, what are you going to be doing this Sunday at nine pm, guys? We will be watching the rap party. Yeah. The coming home episode on Sunday. On we'll ITV Two, hundred percent, nine o'clock. Got to be there. Make sure you tune in. Thanks so much for joining us, guys. Say goodbye. Bye.